morning. So good morning and good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, lighting for seniors and, uh, you know, with an emphasis on improving visual performance, circadian health and self uh, safety in this group. I do want to acknowledge um, our sponsors um, who have provided us with the funding to be able to present some of the data I'll be presenting here today. Also, some of our manufacturer collaborators and sponsor that um, helps us sort of output the research into products so that specifiers like some of you out there may be able to specify new products. And uh, our project collaborators, uh, we, um, Rensselaer is um, mostly an engineering school and having access to the clinical population has been possible um, through our collaborators in different um, places in the world. So we appreciate that. So let me start with um, why light is so important. And we do know that light reaching the back of our eyes or the retina um, allows us to see. So it is important because it has a very strong effect in our, in our visual system. So you turn on the lights, you can see. You turn off, you can't see anymore. Uh, light is also uh, the main synchronizer of our circadian clock to the local time on Earth. So it really allows us to entrain to the day-night cycle. And light um, can also affect our perceptual system. And that can be done in two ways. One is conveying information about the space. And another area that we've been working with, and I'll talk a little bit more about, is really helping with uh, providing uh, visual cues to help with postural control and postural stability. We also have what we call neural changes. And as I said, the neural changes are, are unfortunately less affected by light, but you can still help a little bit. Um, and some of the main um, neural um, changes is a reduction in the neural density. Um, so you tend, to, you tend to have limited image enhancement. So your ability to see images um, becomes harder. So for example, um, a lot of times it's hard for you to recognize facial recognition, for example, facial features, because you don't have that ability to have that image enhancement as well. Um, you also have reduced visual field. So, um, you know, one of the things that happen when older people are driving, for example, they tend to have accidents in intersections. And the reason is they tend not to see things in their periphery as well as they used to when they were young. Um, obviously, um, in the future, this is some of the work we've been doing with the Swedish Energy Agency, which is really looking at if you have a sensor on you, that sensor communicates with the lighting in your bedroom, in your home, in the space, and it will adjust the lighting according to your needs. Maybe we'll get there in nursing homes and assisted living facilities, but for now, I think we have enough information from science and enough information from the technology that we can implement some of that.